Well, now, thanks for staying with us. The unprecedented criminal trial of former U.S. President Donald Trump is underway in New York on impartiality grounds. Mr. Trump denies falsifying business records to conceal a hush money payment to an adult movie star, Stormy Daniels, just ahead of the 2016 election, which he won. We have a report. After proceedings began on Monday, 60 of 96 potential jurors were quick to say they could not be impartial. The jury selection is continuing and could take up to two weeks. I said, this case is nonsense. It should never have been brought. It doesn't deserve anything like this. There is no... They've said it. People that don't necessarily follow or like Donald Trump. The dismissals on day one were an indication of how challenging it could be to find a group of 12 impartial jurors for such a unique case. It concerns a high-profile sex scandal that involves a former president who is running once again for the White House. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office alleges that Mr. Trump directed his former attorney, Michael Cohen, to pay Ms. Daniels $130,000 in exchange for her silence about an alleged sexual encounter that the former president denies took place. Prosecutors say he did so to unlawfully influence the 2016 election. But Mr. Trump has pleaded not guilty. Prosecutors also argued that some of Mr. Trump's posts on his social media violated a gag order which Justice Marchand imposed on him. The order was expanded to relatives of those involved after Mr. Trump attacked the daughter of Justice Marchand on social media. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office asked Justin Marchand to fine Mr. Trump $3,000 in total for three posts on social media. The judge set a hearing date on the 24th of April to make a decision. The judge used the morning to resolve what evidence could be permissible in court. All through the proceedings, Mr. Trump maintained decorum in court. But outside the court, he described the trial as nonsense and an assault on America. For more on the Trump criminal case, Global Affairs Analyst Ibidola Kwaja, he joins me now for in-depth analysis of current developments from Dallas in Texas. Thank you very much for joining us on World Now. Well, Donald Trump is making history, the first U.S. president, former or current, to face a criminal trial. And his second election in seven months. How's that? Thank you for having me. Uh, it's precarious times for Donald Trump because... This, as you rightly said, is unprecedented in U.S. history. Uh, this is the first uh, president to be facing a criminal charge, a situation that will make him a felon in a few weeks if he's found guilty. And this has a lot of implications uh, for Donald Trump because he's somebody that prides himself in, um, in how people view him, his personality, and the last thing he wants right now is to be dragged through the courts of law to expose uh, a lot of issues he had uh, whilst he ran uh, for the presidency in 2016. It's not a good time for him. All right. We know today is day two of his trial and selection of jury is on. Already a number of people have excused themselves. Uh, they feel they cannot be impartial in the matter. How do you think this could be handled and how long could this actually linger for? Well, it's a tough situation because, you know, we don't know how... Uh, that breaks down. So whether those who are saying they could be impartial are people that have negative views of Donald Trump or those are his uh, hardcore supporters. So uh, the judge will have to allow the process to go through until they find uh, uh, the jurors, 12 jurors that will determine uh, whether it becomes a felon or not. But it's a process. This is how, US, how the U.S. justice system works. And they just have to go through the process to find those who are going to be impartial and will give the evidence as presented and basically make their decision uh, on his guilt or non-guilt uh, uh, based on All right. And over time, you know, Donald Trump seems to be known for uh, making the most of situations. As a TV personality, a showbiz man, you know, he just seems to know how to maximize whatever you thought was even a negative publicity, you know, in his favor. How do you think uh, this could impact you know, he's uh, run for the number one seat in the U.S. In, in reality, I don't think you could have asked for more prime time uh, uh, TV for Donald Trump. Now, he loves to be on TV. And what these court uh, proceedings will give him 
is prime time because it's going to be on the news every day. Now, whilst it will not be able to be on the trail as much as it wants to, uh, on the campaign trail, it will not be able to have enough time uh, to campaign, especially during the day, we are probably to be doing uh, evening, evening campaigns. But this puts him in front of people every day. Now, the truth is, his hardcore supporters think it is a waste of everybody's time. Uh, there's nothing anyone can tell them that will change their mind about who he is. So that's not going to change. What everyone is looking at is how would this affect perhaps the independent voters? How will it affect the women in the suburbs who sometimes swing the votes one way or the other? Because a lot of the issues that will come out will relate to all the affairs he had at the time when his wife, Melania Trump, was pregnant. So uh, there's a lot riding on this, but you can bet that Donald Trump is going to milk this to the, to the, to the maximum potential. He's going to raise a lot of money from it, and he's going to take advantage of the TV uh, presence he's going to get every day. Indeed. You know, I was just uh, thinking back to the time he was trying to get his party's nomination, you know, for the upcoming election. The fact that despite all the cases that were being brought up against him, he was just able to somehow, you know, carry the favors of the people. And I was wondering how, uh, you know, this could impact, I mean, these undecided voters, these independent voters. Uh, do you think they could be swayed, you know? Well, most definitely. I mean, most elections in the United States are determined by the undecideds, you know. So nearing the election, if he gets convicted, that makes him a felon. Uh, even some of the people that believe that he should be the right man for the job are going to have a second thing. They want an image of uh, a U.S. president who's a convicted fellow, you know, uh, sitting in the White House. And this actually is probably one of the lesser issues that he has right now. He still has the January 6th insurrection case coming up. So whether that comes up before the election is another thing, you know. And so there is a lot of issues that he has ahead of him that he has to navigate to become the U.S. president. But you can bet that this will definitely sway some minds when it comes to uh, voting day uh, when we elect a new president. All right. Global Affairs Analyst Ibijola Pajai, thank you for talking to us on World Now. Thank you for having me. Thousands of people have demonstrated in the Georgian capital, demanding the withdrawal 